Hey, what's up guys? Steve here. And today we're going to take a look at the 23 highest selling Michael Jordan basketball cards from the PWCC weekly auction that ended on May 28th. Like I mentioned in a previous video, this was right around the time I was moving, but today's video does cover Jordan cards from 1990 through 1994, like the usual top 25 or top 30 list would. And we'll kick today's list off at number 23 with this 1994 Upper Deck MJ Rare Air. This card was authenticated by NBA and it sold for $21.60. For an ungraded copy of this Jordan, this price seems about right as PSA 8s have also been going for around $22. The last PSA 10 of this Jordan to be put up for auction sold for $150.50 on eBay back in March. Up next at number 22 is this 1992 Upper Deck, card number 425. This was a PSA 9 and it also sold for $21.60. This price is within $5 of the majority of PSA 9 comps I found of this card from 2023. A PSA 10 of this Jordan will currently set you back around $65. Coming in at number 21 is this 1993 Topps Gold 50 Point Club, card number 64. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $22.80. This price is on the higher end of what a PSA 9 of this card has been going for recently. A PSA 10 of this Jordan will currently set you back a little under $70. And kicking off the top 20 of today's list is this 1992 Ultra, card number 216. This was a PSA 9 and it also sold for $22.80. This price is on the lower end of what a PSA 9 has been going for in 2023, but is still within $10 of the current average sale price of this card. Uh, around the time of this auction, the last PSA 10 of this Jordan sold for $139 on eBay. Up next at number 19 is this 1992 Stadium Club, card number 210. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $22.80. This price lines up with the majority of recent PSA 9 comps I found for this card. A PSA 10 of this Jordan will currently set you back around $120. Coming in at number 18 is this 1990 Skybox card number 41. This was also a PSA 9 and it also sold for $22.80. This is about what this card has been going for in a PSA 9 in 2023, while a PSA 10 of this Jordan will currently set you back around $170 on average. Up next at number 17 is this 1994 Bleachers 23 karat gold, card number 67. This was a BGS 8.5 and it sold for $26.40. Like I've mentioned in previous videos, unfortunately I can't provide much research for this card as the website I use for these videos also has a bunch of different cards from the set mixed together. We get another classic Junk Wax era Jordan at number 16, this time with this 1990 Fleer, card number 26. This was a PSA 9 and it also sold for $26.40. This price lines up with the majority of PSA 9 comps I found from this card for 2023. While doing research for some of these iconic Jordan cards from the Junk Wax era, it's always fun to go back and look at some of the crazy 2021 prices. This Jordan in a PSA 9 was consistently going for between $100 and $150 back in February of 2021.
Up next at number 15 is this 1994 SP Championship die cut, card number 41. This was a BGS 9 and it sold for $27.60. This is about what this die cut Jordan has been going for in a BGS 9 in 2023. The last SGC 9 of this Jordan sold for only $10 back in December of last year, while a PSA 9 will currently set you back around $30 as well. Coming in at number 14, is this 1992 Upper Deck 15,000 point club, card number PC4. This was an SGC 9.5 and it sold for $30 even. This price is down from the only two other SGC 9.5 comps I found with this car dating back to last year. It's tough to compare this price to a BGS 9.5 as there hasn't been any to hit the market in 2023. The last Beckett 9.5 of this Jordan sold for $125.73 on eBay back in December of last year. Up next at number 13 is this 1991 Hoop Slam Dunk Champion. This was an SGC 9.5 and it sold for $37.20. This price is on the higher end of the two previous SGC 9.5 comps I found of this card from 2023, but far off from Beckett 9.5s, which have been going for around $90 in 2023. Coming in at number 12 is this 1992 Ultra All-NBA, card number 4. This was also an SGC 9.5, and it sold for $49.20. This price lines up with the last SGC 9.5 of this card that sold back in April. A BGS 9.5 of this Jordan has not hit the market since July of 2022, where the last one sold on eBay for $94. Up next at number 11 is this 1991 Skybox, card number 334. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $51.60. This price is right in line with the majority of recent PSA 10 comps I found for this card. This Jordan is a pop of 773 in a PSA 10. Kicking off the top 10 of today's list is this 1991 Upper Deck card number 48. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $56.40. This is about what this all-star checklist that featured Michael Jordan has been going for in a PSA 10 recently. This card is a pop of 629 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 9 is this 1993 Hoop Supreme Court card number SC11. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $58.80. This was a pretty strong price as the majority of PSA 9 comps from 2023 that I found ranged between $25 and $35. Uh, only one PSA 10 of this Jordan has hit the market in 2023 and it sold for $182.50 on eBay back in March. This card is a pop of 283 in a PSA 9 compared to 83 in a PSA 10. Coming in at number 8 is this 1990 Legends Magazine insert card number 16. This was a PSA 9 and it also sold for $58.80. This price is down, but not by much, looking at the majority of PSA 9 comps from 2023. I have only been able to find one prior PSA 10 comp for this card ever, and it sold for $1,677 on eBay back in June of 2021. While this hand-cut Jordan is a pop of 38 in a PSA 9, a PSA 10 is a pop of only 3.
Up next at number seven is this 1992 Upper Deck Michael Jordan Air card, card number 453. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $69.60. This price lines up with a few other PSA 8 comps of this Jordan I found from 2023. A PSA 9 of this Air card currently goes for around $175 while the last PSA 10 sold for $489 on eBay right around the time of this auction. Coming in at number 6 is this 1992 Topps Archives card number 52. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $84 even. Someone overpaid for this card as the majority of recent PSA 8 comps I found have averaged closer to $25. A PSA 9 of this Jordan will currently set you back around $50, while a PSA 10 goes for around $350 on average. Kicking off the top 5 of today's list is this 1990 Hoop Superstars card number 12. This was a BGS 9.5 and it sold for $117.60. This is the first BGS 9.5 to be put up for auction since 2020 with only two other eBay buy it nows from 2021 from what I could find. The last PSA 10 of this Jordan sold for $455 on eBay back in March. Up next at number 4 is this 1993 Stadium Club Super Teams NBA Finals, card number 169. This was a BGS 9 and it sold for $192. This Jordan does not hit the market very often and this is the new record price in a Beckett slab. Matter of fact, even a PSA 10 of this card has not hit the market since December of 2019, where the last one sold on eBay for $167. Coming in at number 3 is this 1993 Ultra Inside Outside, card number 4. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $1,440. This is the first PSA 10 of this Jordan to hit the market in over a year and this price sets the all time record sell of this card in any grade by any grading company. Dating back to 2017, this is also the first ever 4 figure sell of this card I could find as well. This Jordan is a pop of only 41 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 2 is this 1993 Ultra Scoring Kings card number 5. This was a BGS 9.5 and it sold for $4,200. This price is up as the three prior Beckett 9.5 comps I found from 2023 have averaged closer to $3,500. While the Beckett population reports show no copies of this Jordan insert graded higher, the last PSA 10 of this card sold for $11,400 also back in May. And topping off today's list at number 1 is this 1993 Ultra Power in the Key, card number 2. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $8,700. This price is up $1,400 from the last PSA 10 that sold back in the first week of May and this Jordan is a pop of only 45 in a PSA 10. Thanks for joining me today guys and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.